Solowit. Solowit was a renowned American artist known for his contributions to the conceptual art movement. He was born in 1928 in Hartford, Connecticut, and grew up in New Britain. Lewitt studied at Syracuse University, where he earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in 1949. Lewitt began his career as an artist in the 1960s, a time when the art world was undergoing significant changes. It was during this period that conceptual art emerged as a major new movement challenging traditional notions of art and creativity. Lewitt quickly became a leading figure in this movement and his work would go on to have a profound influence on the course of contemporary art. One of Lewitt's most significant contributions to conceptual art was his embrace of the idea that the concept or idea behind a work of art was more important than the final product itself. This idea became a cornerstone of conceptual art and set it apart from traditional art forms, which focused more on the physical creation of objects. Lewitt's work was characterized by its simplicity and geometric forms. He used basic shapes such as squares, circles, and triangles, arranging them in patterns that were often repeated throughout his work. He also explored the use of color, using bright, bold hues to create a sense of energy and movement in his pieces. One of Lewitt's most famous series of works is his wall drawings, which he began creating in the 1960s. These pieces were large-scale, site-specific installations that covered entire walls with geometric shapes and patterns. Each piece was unique, designed specifically for the space in which it was created. Lewitt created hundreds of wall drawings throughout his career, and they remain some of his most significant and influential works. Lewitt's work was not only influential within the art world, but also had a significant impact on design and architecture. He was commissioned to create many public artworks, including murals, sculptures, and installations, which are still on display in cities around the world. In addition to his art, Lewitt was also a prolific writer and thinker on the subject of art and creativity. He wrote extensively about his own work and the work of others, contributing to the ongoing conversation about the nature and purpose of art. Lewitt continued to create art until his death in 2007, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and influence artists and thinkers around the world. His emphasis on the importance of concept and his use of simple geometric forms have had a lasting impact on the art world, challenging traditional notions of what art can be and inspiring new generations of artists to push the boundaries of creativity. Art in 5, Kara Walker Kara Walker is one of the most prominent contemporary artists of our time. Born in Stockton, California in 1969, Walker rose to fame in the 1990s with her powerful and provocative works that explored issues of race, gender, and power. Walker's signature medium is cut paper silhouettes, which she uses to create intricate and detailed scenes that are at once beautiful and disturbing. Her works often depict scenes of slavery and racial violence, challenging viewers to confront the dark and painful history of the United States. One of Walker's most famous works is Gone, an historical romance of a civil war as it occurred between the dusky thighs of one young negress and her heart, a large-scale installation that was first exhibited in 1994. The work features a series of life-size cut paper silhouettes arranged in a circular formation depicting a grotesque and violent scene of slavery and sexual violence. The installation was highly controversial, with some critics accusing Walker of promoting racist stereotypes and exploiting the history of slavery for shock value. Others praised the work for its powerful critique of the legacy of slavery and its lasting impact on American society. Walker has continued to create innovative and thought-provoking works throughout her career. In 2014, she was commissioned to create a massive public sculpture for the Domino Sugar Factory in Brooklyn, New York. The sculpture, titled A Subtlety, or The Marvelous Sugar Baby, featured a gigantic sphinx-like figure covered in sugar, surrounded by smaller sculptures of slave children. The installation was a massive success, drawing thousands of visitors to the site and sparking a national conversation about the legacy of slavery and the ongoing struggles for racial justice in the United States. Walker's works have been exhibited in museums and galleries around the world, and she's won numerous awards and accolades for her contributions to contemporary art. Her legacy continues to inspire and challenge viewers to confront the difficult truths of our history and work towards a more just and equitable future. 
Jenny Holzer is an American artist known for her thought-provoking and politically charged artworks that combine text and installation. Born in Galapagos, Ohio in 1950, Holzer has become renowned for her use of language as a medium, utilizing words to challenge power structures, explore social issues, and provoke contemplation. Holzer initially studied painting and printmaking before turning her attention to text-based art in the late 1970s. She gained recognition for her Truism series, which features concise and ambiguous statements written in the form of aphorisms. These statements touch on various themes, including power, gender, violence, and consumerism. Holzer displayed her truisms in non-conventional ways, such as projecting them onto buildings, displaying them on electronic signs, and engraving them on public benches, disrupting traditional models of art display. Throughout her career, Holzer has experimented with various mediums and formats to convey her messages. She's employed LED signs, stone benches, billboards, projections, and even clothing to showcase her texts. This multidisciplinary approach allows her to engage with diverse audiences in both public and gallery settings, blurring the boundaries between art and the everyday world. One of Holzer's most significant works is her series titled Inflammatory Essays, created in the late 1970s and early 1980s. These essays, displayed as posters, feature provocative statements and viewpoints on topics such as feminism, war, and power structures. The essays challenge viewers to confront uncomfortable truths and consider the complexities of contemporary society. Holzer has also collaborated with architects and designers to create large-scale public installations. For instance, her project, Protect Protect, presented at the Venice Banal in 2007 involved displaying excerpts from declassified U.S. government documents on LED signs wrapped around the facade of the Italian pavilion. This installation highlighted issues of state surveillance, secrecy, and the erosion of civil liberties. In addition to her text-based works, Holzer has explored themes of memory, trauma, and loss in projects such as her Lustmord series. Inspired by historical accounts of violence against women, these works combined text, imagery, and objects to address themselves of victimhood, gender-based violence, and societal attitudes towards women. Holzer's contributions to the art world have earned her numerous accolades, including the Golden Lion at the Venice Banal in 1990. Her works are held in prestigious collections worldwide, and she has exhibited in major museums and galleries, including the Museum of Modern Art in New York, the Guggenheim Museum, Bilbao, and the Tate Modern in London. Jenny Holzer's art challenges viewers to question their assumptions, confront uncomfortable truths, and engage in critical dialogue. By bringing her text-based works into public spaces, she disrupts the ordinary and confronts audiences with powerful messages. Through her use of language, Holzer amplifies marginalized voices, exposes systems of power, and encourages viewers to actively participate in the shaping of society. Her enduring impact as an artist lies in her ability to use words as a tool for social and political transformation. Cara Maria, born in 1967, is a contemporary visual artist known for her vibrant and expressive paintings that address themes of social and political commentary, environmental concerns, and the human experience. Her work often combines elements of abstraction, figuration, and symbolism to create visually striking compositions that provoke thought and engage viewers. Maria's art is characterized by its bold use of color and energetic brushwork. Her paintings often feature a mix of organic and geometric forms, creating dynamic compositions that convey a sense of movement and vitality. She employs a variety of techniques, including layering, drips, and gestural marks to add texture and depth to her work. One recurring theme in Maria's art is the exploration of the relationship between humans and nature. Her paintings often depict animals, plants, and landscapes, drawing attention to the interconnectedness and fragility of our environment. Through her vibrant and stylized representations, she invites viewers to reflect on their own connection to the natural world and the impact of human actions on the planet. Another significant aspect of Maria's work is her exploration of social and political issues. She uses her art as a platform for commentary on topics such as gender, identity, inequality, and cultural diversity. Her paintings often feature symbolic imagery and juxtapositions, inviting viewers to consider the complexities of these subjects and engage in critical reflection. Maria's art is deeply rooted in her personal experiences and observations of the world around her. Her work is influenced by her upbringing in a multicultural environment and her travels to different countries, which have exposed her to diverse perspectives and cultural narratives. Through her art, 
She seeks to challenge preconceived notions, spark dialogue, and promote empathy and understanding. Cara Maria's vibrant and thought-provoking paintings have been exhibited in numerous galleries and museums internationally, earning her recognition and acclaim within the contemporary art world. Her art continues to captivate audiences with its visual richness, compelling narratives, and passionate engagement with social and environmental issues. Marlene Dumas Marlene Dumas is a renowned artist born in South Africa in 1953. She is known for her emotionally charged and thought-provoking works, which often explore themes of identity, gender, race, and sexuality. Dumas grew up during the apartheid era, and her experiences of living in a segregated society have greatly influenced her art. Dumas began her artistic career studying at the University of Cape Town, where she developed her skills as a painter. She later moved to the Netherlands, where she became a Dutch citizen and continued to develop her unique style. Her early works often featured haunting portraits of women and children, which were marked by their striking use of color and shadow. One of Dumas' most well-known works is The White Disease, a series of paintings that explore the impact of the AIDS epidemic on society. The series features a collection of portraits of people suffering from the disease, and it has been praised for its powerful commentary on the stigma and discrimination faced by those living with AIDS. Another notable work by Dumas is The Image as Burden, a retrospective exhibition that was held at the Tate Modern in London in 2015. The exhibition showcased Dumas' most iconic works from her career, and it was widely regarded as a testament to her status as one of the most important contemporary artists of our time. Dumas' works often challenge traditional notions of beauty and perfection, and they are known for their raw emotional power. Her portraits are characterized by their loose, fluid brushstrokes, which give them a sense of movement and diamondism. Her use of colors is also notable, with many of her works featuring a subdued palette that emphasizes the mood and atmosphere of the piece. Throughout her career, Dumas has been the recipient of numerous awards and honors. In 2011, she was awarded the prestigious Johannes Vermeer Award, which is given annually to a Dutch artist or designer who has made a significant contribution to the arts. She has also been honored with exhibitions at some of the world's most prestigious museums, including the Museum of Modern Art in New York and the Stedelijk Museum in Amsterdam. Dumas' influence on the art world is significant, and her works continue to inspire and challenge artists and audiences alike. Her willingness to tackle difficult and often taboo subjects has helped to pave the way for a new generation of artists, who are eager to explore the complexities of the human experience through their work. In conclusion, Marlene Dumas is a visionary artist who has made a profound impact on the art world. Her powerful, emotionally charged works have challenged and inspired audiences for decades, and her legacy as a trailblazer and iconoclast will continue to resonate for years to come.